and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimerdinger Invoke. That's right, we're going to be trying Heimerdinger because Flash of Brilliance back to three mana. So I wanted to try Heimerdinger out. Basically, I wanted to have Flash of Brilliance and I wanted to play Heimerdinger with a Hush deck. And so this is what we've come up with. Um, we got Heimerdinger, we got two Vi's for some good champion removal and just board control. That's what Vi does, really good job at that. And then just one spicy Aurelian Soul at the top end um, that we can get if, if we need that uh, for a longer game. But then just a bunch of removal, like a Sunblessed Vigor and some Bastions to help protect um, Heimerdinger. And also this card's good with Vi as well. Guiding Touch, definitely really good with Vi. Um, Early, early on, we're going to be playing our Solari cards. They're good blockers, Solari Soldier and Solari Shield Bearer. With these two cards in our deck, the purpose of them is going to be to be blocking, not really attacking. So just because it's turn one and you have the attack token, you can play Soldier if you want, but you don't have to. You can wait, maybe play it on turn two whenever they would be attacking you, um, that kind of stuff. So just kind of keep that in mind. You don't have to play these immediately on turn one and turn two. You can wait till like whenever they're going to attack, you get like a 3-6 blocker and a 3-3 blocker and stuff like that. But he, all right, we're going to have Flash of Brilliance. We're going to have Hush. Um, yeah, we're going to be invoking a little bit with Solari Priestess, Star Shaping, stuff like that. A really soul. Let's go have fun. Let's see how we do. We'll play our five games. So what's our first match? Trundle. All right. Spooky Trundle. Get rid of this. Um, I don't know, like Thermogenic Beam could maybe take down a Trundle for us. I guess I'll just keep it. And Pill Cascade's just kind of too good to mulligan, is what I feel like, but. I don't know, it looks like we're, we're probably both gonna just like pass turn one, turn two, turn three, they'll have ramp, we'll have Solari Priestess. So they will likely be ahead. We're gonna just hold our spell mana, try to find Heimerdinger. Uh, not really, Doss. We need to do some more with Mistwraith. No, I only played, like, one Mistwraith deck. It didn't go real well. I need to retry Mistwraith with the new expansion. All right, let's obliterate an enemy. That sounds like a good card to have against Trundle. All right, Heimerdinger, <clears throat> where are you at? There you are. Found you. All right, going to use the Thermogenic Beam. Just, I don't know, I feel like this is a good use for Thermogenic Beam. It costs one more mana, um, but later on in the game, I'm probably not going to want to spend all of my mana, um, right? Like, I'm going to want to, like, play, a, like, the Fallen Comet and play something else, like that kind of stuff. I think that's a good use for that card. I guess now, though, if they play another one, I won't be able to kill it immediately. So I have two Pale Cascades to protect Heimerdinger. Oh right, I got a Flash of Brilliance first. <laughs> Whoops. It may be good that we're waiting on that Flash of Brilliance just because of uh, cards in hand. We may be running out of cards in hand. Six, nine. Okay, nine cards in hand. Why 
they keep trying to kill my Heimerdinger. They have another avalanche. Hope not. But if they do, now my Pale Cascade will protect my Heimerdinger. Let's go with the Destroyer. That spell shield. All right, here we go. Heimerdinger bringing the turrets. We have protection with some blessed figure, and then pill cascade. We can also mystic shot them. I would put them to one. I don't really want to Pale Cascade first, and then they use removal on whatever I Pale Cascade. Oh, I have two Mystic Shots. So yeah, they're pretty dead. Get some more turrets. Alright, GG's. All right, Demacia stuff. We'll see if we can keep from getting run over. All right, Mulligan the star shaping. Flash of Brilliance is just so great with Heimerdinger and we're gonna draw Heimerdinger that I just wanna keep it. Be positive, we're going to draw Heimerdinger. All right, keep them from attacking. Try to trade. Training is good against a Bannerman deck. You know, they have Bannerman, they have their... For the Fallen, they have all that kind of stuff. Just want to keep trading. Of course, I want to play this on, on their turn. Try to have this trade up with something that's not just a 2-2. This Heimerdinger is going to be great. When we draw it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll pass. Alright, use a couple of mana. Alright, Heimer, Dinger. No. For justice, for Demacia. Clad in shining sunlight. We do what is right. If I star shaping, I let them single combat. Need to behold another celestial card. Guess we get the destroyer. Not super likely that we're beholding another celestial card. Hold the line. Steady, soldiers. Man, this Heimerdinger that we're gonna draw is gonna be sweet. Right here on top. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. <laughs> Garen's gonna level up. Well, okay, yeah, I was gonna say I get a free block on that 6-6. Six, six. Can I take 16? Probably not. 
Alright, Hammerdinger. You're gonna show up eventually, I know, and you're gonna be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Don't think I've created a Sky's Descent before. That's pretty good. Injustice. My sword is yours to command. No doubt. Stop. Only victory. Form up. We found Heimer. My time has come. Right now, I'm still just going to. I don't have the Daybreak turned on, so I don't have Silence. Six damage to the Garen isn't going to do anything. Even if I did have the Silence, we couldn't do six damage to the... Like, um, Garen's still a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, no, no, the Bannerman did give it the plus one, plus one. So if we did have the Daybreak, we could kill the Garen, right? Okay, Heimer, you did your job. Interesting solution. Um, the next turn. Gonna be difficult to keep them from going wide and to stop them. Hello, Runeterra. Let's rock. Discipline and steel to the stars. You will not prevail. I was gonna say I like this block from them because that was gonna turn. That was gonna give me twenty power. All right, GG's. Good game. Didn't find Heimerdinger fast enough. Well, this certainly isn't my fault. All right, Twisted Swain from Debo4. Debo4 is a awesome guy, a viewer here on the stream and everything. Um, yeah, Twisted Swain. We'll mulligan this hush. Keep all these. Mystic Shot just kind of does a good job against like um, I don't know. Maybe I should be mulliganing one Mystic Shot though, and because of how important Hybridinger is. Um, but it just does a good job against like their their three twos like um, petty officer and then twisted fate and all that kind of stuff. I need more runs. Unyielding light. Draw a bigger champion. I'm always up for a round or two. 
That is an option. Dead in their tracks. Press right now we got Vi. Vi's pretty good. Wonder if there should be a progress day turn. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Probably not. One girl wrecking crew. And punch. All right, so we not scare them off from attacking. That did not happen. Take that two damage. We got some some nexus healing. Every turn's a progress day turn. Hit them where it's trouble. Coming at ya. So yeah, they're going to Ravenous Flock to kill my Vi. I want them to, you know, I want to get rid of the Elusive while we're doing that. This could be good with Heimerdinger turrets, but the Immortal Fire also, you just can't kill this thing ever. I'll take the Scourge. Cool. Um, I mean, I guess I could stop that. Yeah, I guess I should stop that. <clears throat> We're at 7 mana next turn, not 8, unfortunately. Turn. So if I, if I, yeah, I mean, I was at 16, so I want to gain actual Never five life and not less. Soak it in. I just, yeah, I don't want to play Heimerdinger now, and then they have whatever removal to kill Heimerdinger. Definitely do not want any any removal spells killing Heimerdinger. Logical. I could see them wanting to play Leviathan this turn. And fire! Yeah, like, they want to play Leviathan this turn. And I want to kill Leviathan with Vi. Yeah. Alright, not going to let them just play Leviathan after combat. There's Leviathan. All right, what do we got? Silence a follower. Oh man, we get to Moon Silver the Aurelian Soul. Or I can just play a Mortal Fire. Honestly, the 01 Challenger is probably better than the 1 1. Yeah, it is. I just realized I don't get the, the free 8 8.
I don't get the free 8-8 eight eight because I filled my hand up. So Living Legends doesn't make you an 8-8 eight because eight then you don't have room for the 8-8 eight eight with um, I'm reading here. I don't know exactly how this is going to backfire. They can stun the Scourge, so maybe I should be going with, like, Solari Soldier or something else first and see if they, um, you know, do other things. Like, maybe they have, like, the, the stun card. Yep. Do other things first. But we have the Bastion, so we should be good. Okay, they are getting rid of my spell shield with that make it rain. Six more power to level up Heimerdinger. Getting another card out of my hand, so I can get another Celestial card. Mm, Alright. Could cast Progress Day. <laughs> That's probably unnecessary. Let's just start stunning things. I guess the meteor shower would have killed one of those. Time for Walkies, boy. And of course, we want to play as many celestial cards first before this destroyer. It's already plus nine. it out. Okay. So we could get like the, the three mana one two that gives another invoke. Maybe. Challenge, challenge. You can attack. Do we have like a Vi in here? Yeah, I need a plan. Uh, a little bit more damage. Well, that's alright. We'll go with negative 27, I guess. Victory today, freedom tomorrow. Need that card. Crazy. Ooh, another really in soul deck. They could out late game us. Could definitely out late game us. Um, so maybe I should keep my really in soul just so I have it, but I guess we could get like aggro here. Is that a thing? Ours is the one true light. This is something different. Love it. We got Heimer. Light. Now let's find some flash of brilliances. Follow the horizon. Let's get an aggro. Hey, Devo4. Thanks. Thanks for the game. GG's. Thanks for sticking it out. And everything. Bask in her radiant blessing. Oh, they passed over to me. I should have just passed also. 
Had them waste that three mana. Punish transgressions. So they definitely, oh, like, not definitely, but most likely you're going to be playing like Radiant Guardian next turn. The Great Beyond seems like it, this would be really difficult for them to deal with. Or we could just invoke again. No, let's get like this Great Beyond. Each journey is a discovery. That Moon Silver is kind of weird though. Like that's, it's enticing to take a Moon Silver. Here we go. Believe or burn. Then I don't really have protection for Heimerdinger. Devotion to battle. Really wish we had a bunch of flash of brilliance and stuff like that. Oh, the sweet smell of science. No, I'm gonna play Heimer. Of course, there you are, Flash of Brilliance. A little late, a little late. Just casting these extra turrets does a good job of leveling up our Vi as well. So Lux is two mana as far as leveling up goes. The problem with Thermogenic Beam is we can't really play it. Follow the horizon. So if they have Bastion with the Spell Shield, we can still break that up with the Mystic Shots. I'm countering that because that's going to level up their Lux. I don't want them to have a leveled up Lux. Alright, that will also level up Lux. So we got a single combat and a concerted strike out of their hand. So so far, what well, that's two single combats, one concerted strike out of their hand. So out of possible removal spells. This great beyond you know, does not only has elusive, but also has that spell shield. And we just got rid of a couple of spells from them. All right, hoping this thing can can pull it out. I think it will. Confident in it. Huge elusive with spell shield, fair and balanced. Oh hush. <laughs> the guilty would bend. Yeah, hush is a card.
Alright, so I could do six damage to this Radiant Guardian. Alright, it's so like we could go hybriding or Flash of Brilliance. Ugh, I don't get to do very much else if I do want to do Thermogenic Beam, though. I kind of want to go Thermogenic Beam. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, because, yeah, it'd still just be five damage. Or, so, you know, it'd be... If I go Heimerdinger, Flash, we have Thermogenic Beam for five. Unyielding light. Okay, good. Bastion can keep keep this alive. Burn away doubt. Thirteen. Answers. I have them. Yeah, even if they have another single combat. Hello, good Terra. Let's rock. I don't think they have another single combat. I think my best play is killing this thing right now. Looks like that was a good play. Yeah, they could, they'd have to have, yeah, what, Judgment plus Hush? Or judgment plus another spell? There's no real reason to attack with the Heimerdinger. I just shouldn't attack, I should, should attack with everything else but not the Heimerdinger. Okay. Truly remarkable. Three and one. I do like Tribune Imp Improbulator. I think it's a good card, but I do think you need to build around it, and I didn't really want to focus on building around it for this deck. I'm not sure about keeping Star Shaping. Like, I, I, on one hand, it's going to help us uh, stabilize, or you know, help our Nexus stabilize after we stabilize the board. On the other hand, it doesn't help us stabilize the board. And so we're relying on looking for other things. This is something where, where we could really use those Solari cards. That's a good one. That will help stabilize the board. We need cards that stabilize the board. I've never done well with Ezreal Karma. Probably not planning on playing that anytime soon. I, I need. I should Mystic Shot right now because of Noxion Fervor. Ooh. You'll fight or you'll swim. My faith protects me. Possible with them just passing that I should just also pass and save this for Zap Sprayfin. But I feel like every mana can matter. Alright, well obviously I'm planning on playing my champions next turn on turn 5. So we don't need to play this on defense. I have 2 mana I can use, because I'm definitely going to keep 3 mana available the for the next turn. Make the Empire proud. So thinking about attacking with the 3-3, three, three, they block with the 3-1, I Pale Cascade, and now my Solari Soldier is a 2-1. So basically... I think that's worth it. It's the two mana I wouldn't use anyway. Solari Soldier, if I don't do this, Solari Soldier just turns into a 2-2. Two, two. So now it'll just be a 2-1 instead of a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. But then we would have had the Legion Grenadier dead. That's a good call too, though, though Devil. Playing the Mystic Shot when I did it with them at zero mana and not able to Noxion Fervor. That's also important. Good call. Neither the flames nor the 
Should I be blocking the Legion Grenadier instead? We take the same number of damage right now, but then Legion Grenadier is out of here. I guess it's better to block the Grenadier, because that's still like one point of damage that's probably just, you know, priced in. Like, we should just assume like we're going to be taking this one point of damage eventually. And so if we're taking the same anyway, might as well get rid of that one point of damage. Awesome. Get that by leveled up. Yeah, check that out. Played four, four lease index yesterday. I wonder if I should be healing my my. If I go Sunburst on the Gangplank, are they doing 10 damage to me? I hope not. Awesome! Glad glad y'all are liking the new intro. Yeah, I'm definitely real excited about that too. So yeah, I finally got like a, a real um you yeah, know actually like you know did some did some research, watched some videos on like how to edit some videos. Got a real editing program. And so that's how I can add in that intro and stuff. All right, with Misfortune, these things don't really block. So instead of playing one of those, I'm going to kill this Legion Saboteur that would do a point of damage to me automatically. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We just we played five games and we won them all with Nocturne Swain. Um, Things went things went pretty well for us with that deck. I don't think it's like a, a top tier deck, but things went went pretty well. It was it was awesome. Make it interesting. So hopefully with the star shaping, we are safe. Level up, I'm reading her. Okay, yeah, Lee Sin, Braum with all that stuff. Okay. I played... Um, my most similar to that would be I played Lee Sin Zed with... Um, with Freljord. With all sorts of buff spells from Freljord. Flash of Brilliance making Sunburst is actually pretty sweet. Like, Sunburst is definitely a, a very good card. You're cute when you're armed. Firepower's always in style. Uh, I'm considering having Vi challenge the hapless aristocrat so that then they have to block with other things. Here's the fun part. No, it's gotta be just this, right? Maybe I challenge... I'm going to challenge the spray fin. I have a new method to evaluate. If they want to like block Heimerdinger and use like a damage spell to kill Heimerdinger and not kill me, I mean that's fine with me. Please, I have connections. <laughs> yeah, Cygnus basically is atrocity, isn't it? So 
The Cygnus Endure. Progress waits for no one. There you go. Yeah, Cygnus Endure die. does sound pretty cool. Say your farewells. It's a little surprising the Sprayfin isn't trading with the 6-1. But they're taking that instead. So I guess they got big plans for this Brayfin. Big plans. Just want me to attack again? Alright. I can attack again. Sounds good with me. G, G is a nice 4 1. Mine stands for victory. Victory. Alright, that was, that was a good video. We had some good wins in there. Um, yeah, our deck looked pretty good. Heimerdinger looks like it may be back. Heimerdinger back. Definitely felt like it. Heimerdinger was awesome with Flash of... I mean, Flash of Brilliance going back to three mana is such a big deal. And put it here in Targon, you have your cards like Hush and Star Shaping. Help keep you alive, get you awesome, some awesome spells with Heimerdinger. Um, yeah, you got good blockers early. This deck felt like the real deal. I mean, we we just... Uh, we played against some, some good decks. You know, like we were defeating your Trundle decks and your uh, Bilgewater Noxus Aggro. You know, defeating both of those. That's a that's a really good sign for a deck like this. The one Aurelian Soul was pretty sweet at the top end. It did its thing. All right, so that's Heimer Invoke. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave any comments, feedback. Uh, what do you want to see on the channel? What kind of decks do you want to see? Um, how are you liking the, the, uh, the new video intro and the editing that I've been doing? All that kind of stuff. Um, you know, any, anything else you want to see and uh, about the decks. You know, if you're if you're trying out Nocturne Swain, if you're trying out Heimer Invoke, if you're you know trying these decks out, if you're doing well with them, let me know. I, I want to hear it. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.